Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a real simple way to find factors and then solve this given fourth degree polynomial. Let's go ahead and find the factors first for this fourth degree polynomial. And we will be using this trick. So we will be using substitution method. What that means is this looks a little bit cumbersome. We want to simplify it. So in order to do that one, I want to say, I'm going to use, I'm going to say let u equal to x square. Then u square, I can say it's going to become x square and then power 2. So x power 2 and power 2 become x power 4 u square, isn't it? So we got these two, we're going to be using these two substitutions right up here. So in this case, x power 4 is going to become simply u squared. So I can write 9u squared minus 37 and x squared is simply u plus 4. See, this looks a lot simpler now. It's a quadratic expression with a u variable. So let's go ahead and find the factors for this one. What are the possible factors? The possible factors are 9u minus 1 and the other one is u minus 4. So once we got this one, u minus 4, so now we're going to go ahead and plug it back the x variable. At the very first place, u was x squared, so I can write as, I can write as 9, u is x squared minus 1. Likewise, u, let's put it back again, x squared minus 4. Now, the next thing is, I want you to just focus on this very first parenthesis, which is 9, x squared minus 1. So now we will be using this fact. The difference of two squares is the product of difference and the sum. And over here I can manipulate it a little bit. I can say 9x squared could be written as 3x and then power 2, isn't it? That's same as 9x squared and 1 could be written as 1 squared. So right now this 3x become our a and 1 becomes b. So we can use this fact. This could be written as 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. Likewise, look at the second parenthesis is what? x squared minus 4. That could be written as x squared minus 2 squared. And then we can write using this fact, we can write as x minus 2 times x plus 2. So now let's go back and expand this one. We can factor further. We can write 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. So thus, uh, these are our, our factors for this given polynomial. And in the next step, we are going to solve this polynomial. First of all, I set it equal to zero. So in the previous step, we already figured out uh, the factors. Let's go ahead and put down those factors. Those factors were 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 set it equal to zero. And now what I want you to do is, since these are factor equal to zero, I can split them up. I can say 3x minus one equal to zero, 3x plus one equal to zero, x minus two equal to zero, and finally x plus two equal to zero. Since we wanna solve for x, I want you to simply add one over here. So what happens is this cancels out. So 3x equals to one. So x turns out to be one third. So that is our one of the solutions. Over here, I want you to subtract one from both sides. 
So this cancels out 3x equal to negative 1. You divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be negative 1 over 3. In this case, x equal to positive 2. And here, x equal to negative 2 are our solutions. So thus, this is our solution set. Negative 2, negative 1 third, 1 third, and 2. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.